Everybody looks like we're going live. So there's a little lag between uh, when I click the button and when it starts showing up here. So I'm always kind of, kind of wondering when you're going to see it. Hey, uh, uh, we're we're about a minute or two early. Give everybody a chance to log in. Anybody wants to uh, make comments or ask questions in the chat, I'm always looking at the chat up here, uh, looking for people to uh, make their comments or or if there's questions you want me to answer about a current video or something like that. I'm I'm always want to check those out and understand what you guys are thinking out there in the Reading Smoke Nation. Hey. Uh, <clears throat> I really want to uh, thank everybody for tuning in and for this opportunity to interact with you. A um, couple things this week as we get going on this video here. Uh, as always, I'd like to thank the subscribers. Uh, since last week, we got James Cox, uh, Bluefin650, uh, EM. I love that. It's uh, <laughs> nice and simple. Uh, I wonder if it's Dr. Drobness or Dr. Drobness. Hey, if it's Dr., congratulations to you. In your PhD, um, M. Dupuy, 1946, and Mark Brophy. Hey, thank everybody for uh, for you guys, uh, and gals, for subscribing this week. And as always, I'm I'm asking people to spread the message, spread the word about the Reading Smoke Nation, about the episodes we're doing here every week on YouTube, and obviously a lot of my, according to the data, a lot of my viewers here at YouTube are finding me through the Facebook at uh, SBSK, where I do my Wednesday Art of Reading Smoke with Phil Joe. So if you found me from there, if you can help spread the word to the Reading Smoke Nation, this this asset's here. And I'm looking forward to next year getting back out um, to do some live teaching. I do have some dates available, so if you want to do that, hit me up. You can find me, uh, my website is ignitionpointtraining.com. I uh, want to let your set your mind on fire. So that's where the ignition point comes from. Hey, uh, and also this video is from Tulsa. I want to thank the Tulsa Fire Department. I was out there a number of years ago, got to spend almost a week at the training center doing some training with them. And um, near and dear to my heart is that project and uh, really enjoyed my time out there. Was really, really treated great. Got to do a fish fry and some other stuff while I was there and uh, see a fair amount of the town a really really an interesting place to visit and uh, so a little piece of myself is there in Tulsa and, and thanks for being out there uh, for the citizens there in, in Tulsa uh, great fire attack here also go out to uh, fire 10 rescue who posted this video and so um, like to thank them if you want to check their um, YouTube page out I've got the link in the show notes uh, both to this video and to the um, Fire 10 Rescues uh, page. So I always like to give credit where credit is due. All right, so let's get going on this. What we looked at here, um, if you haven't seen it um, over on SBSK, I'll probably post a copy on this YouTube page too where I talk about the uh, what um, what's the purpose of doing the Reading Smoke videos and why we're working on them. And the reality is that um, it's a... It's a um, one of the things I'm trying to accomplish is help you with your decision making and um, done a lot of studies over de on decision making myself. Um, and uh, it's basically where I'm, I'm using the recognition prime decision model or RPD which was developed by Derek, Gary Klein. And it functions around two primary aspects. One is pattern matching and the other is expectancies. And reading smoke, uh, pattern matching is cues. And yeah, reading smoke, volume, velocity, density, color, those are cues. All right, so let's see going on the video. What can we see here before we even get started? Well, right here, even just in the still photo, we can see a nice clean burn, 100% exhaust, right? And so that means that wherever the, the fire that's in this room right here, uh, it's getting its oxygen supply from somewhere else, right? It's not, we don't have a bilateral flow, air going in at the bottom, smoke coming out of the top. Uh, what we have is 100% exhaust here, and we have a nice clean burn, which means right now there's plenty of oxygen available. Now, it could be from just inside the house, or there could be a window or door or something open somewhere to the outside. Uh, I don't know the answer. All I know is that this is 100% exhaust. Maybe if you did a 360, you'd be able to see those things. Uh, and then I do have some off-gassing from the radiant heat. I'm starting to get some off-gassing here. And the other big key we got going here is 
uh, the smoke coming out of the attic. So let's go to live. And we can see that, um, as always, if we look at smoke as fuel, uh, because of the clean burn we have over in this window, boom, right there, clean burn, 100% exhaust, uh, nice lean mix, a uh, good mix of fuel and oxygen, leading to very little um, smoke from a volume or velocity, uh, thin, black, and fast. If we saw it here, and then we have the white smoke from the off gassing, uh, either. Um, probably mostly steam at this point, uh, but we're starting to get some char here, and this is gonna light on fire, this surface right here. Okay, coming out of here, we have a, a pretty significant volume, I think, for the amount of window space that is, so high volume, uh, turbulent, um, not super thick coming out of there, um, but brown to, brown to some version of gray black, right? A lot of brown, which we know brown's coming from our unfinished lumber. And one of the things that's interesting about this is uh, it's more on the grayscale, I think, than in the brown, but there is a little bit of uh, brown coming out of there. But uh, uh, high volume, uh, turbulent, moderately thick, so not thin, not thick, but in the middle somewhere, and brown to black, uh, but coming in overhead. One of the things I don't know, like um, sometimes I like to think about what I don't know about what's going on. Why is this plastic here? Is this some sort of construction? Like, is that a, I can't see it, but is that some sort of a permit or something? Is there something going on here? Um, you know, you, you see like the windows leaned up in here. So I don't, I, I would have some uh, from building construction and what's going on inside here. Um, I'd have some significant questions. I'd have, have my eyes open when I'm going in there about what's going on inside of the space. Um, now maybe in Tulsa, this is a fairly normal thing, right? And this is where you get to differences between local and uh, um, general knowledge. Maybe in Tulsa, when you see this, it tells you a whole bunch of information about what's going on inside of this house. But um, that's not something that I'm familiar with seeing. So, uh, hey, if you're in Tulsa or have some insight on that, please fill it in. But um, let's get back to the reading smoke. Now, uh, one of the things I, I can't see here is I... I can't see really what's going on in the back so much. I get a little bit of smoke here, and some of that's just due to the quality of the video. But if I was to get out and do my 360 or pop my head around this corner, I'd be able to see something. And from my perspective, because I have 100% exhaust here, I don't think there's a lot going in right here. I think there's probably some smoke coming out around this uh, Charlie or Delta side somewhere because there's an opening back there, okay? Now we're gonna watch this volume, velocity, density, color as it continues to grow, right? As this fire continues to grow, this this continues to go up and up. And so we're, we're, we're sort of looking at the expectation, right? Is uh, one of the things we're gonna to wanna to know is when they hit this fire, what's gonna happen at that attic space, right? Uh, what what happens immediately, what ha happens over the next minute or two, because I know that, uh, or I expect that we're working towards a fire in this upper space, but I don't know if it's just getting pushed from here or if we have an independent fire working up in this space up here. They're going to get in, they're going to hit it, get a nice fire attack, a uh, pretty quick knock down here. One of the things that before I even mention this, let me stop. I'm going to go back a little bit. One of the things that I like to do, uh, especially when I'm watching fire attacks, is, is try to get an idea from what's ho happening with the flame. Now, normally, when we're reading smoke, we want to stick off of the flame, right? The flame's not going to tell you much about, you know this room's on fire, right? It doesn't take that long to figure that out. But uh, after I do my inventory and have a pretty good expectation, I also want to think about um, what's going on with the crews that I, as the chief officer, what's going on with the crews that I sent in the building? What's going on in the building? And what's my expectation for the time from entry to this door to some impact over here? And what I like to do then is to is to check in on this fire and and look to see when the first indication of a significant decrease in fire behavior that tells me there's water flowing, right? That's what it tells me. Uh, as soon as I get a pretty significant impact here, I'm going to say that there's water flowing in the space or near the space. And we can watch for that as we're going here. And boom, right there. We're starting to see it now. 
and you're going to see here just yeah look at that would, i mean the difference between when it's obvious and when it's just indicated is really pretty small okay now i know that problem is solved right uh, my volume actually has gone up significantly here like um I, what did just have flames now i've got a significant uh, volume right high volume high velocity uh, pretty thick and in the white gray which i would expect because it's mixed with water right that's what i expect to see there's increase in volume and a change in color and then what's happening up here well immediately i'm looking and go oh man still pretty turbulent right pretty black we get an immediate hit with some of that steam coming through but we're going to see a, a nice quick transition back to okay i have an independent fire working somewhere this high volume high velocity uh, pretty thick now and definitely black and now you can see now the, the video jumps there but you can see it it changes color pretty quickly my guess is because they're they're starting to work you can see them going in there with the tools and then as these jumps take place it really uh, makes it hard to know for sure what's going on specifically with the um with the fire attack but now we're seeing some some significant color change uh might might have got a little glitchy on the video right there due to the speed of the internet here apologize for that but look this is now we look here we go this is all white right where they were before this is all white this is in the in the light gray category a uh, significant decrease in the velocity right go back to that significant decrease in the velocity even though the volume's really uh, reasonably high here and the video is going to take one more big jump watch these uh crews work your ao there on the first rig switching lines maybe to get a little more access maybe there's some cut up spaces in there not sure exactly um but i know they're getting the tools that they feel like they need to get this uh fire under control and we're going to jump forward to the end and we're going to see that in fact they did a uh the the volume velocity density color will be almost completely gone and will be done as far as the fire attack goes i mean even here look at that like almost nothing right a little bit here a little almost nothing here uh pretty significant now what we could do is we could take our reading smoke a little further and start do, spending some time uh, uh going around and seeing uh, you know where we have maybe some white smoke versus steam this this to me uh, has the appearance of white smoke maybe we have a little bit up in this eve we could have in some other places too um, our indicators of where we're going to need to do our overhaul right that's what's going to tell us now and uh, so that's what we got going as far as um the video days is having these expectations right what's going on now what's going on what, what do we think is going to happen so once they do that fire attack we get in here like is is this an independent fire or did it go out and in this case it didn't go out right it took some more action on the fire ground to get to the point where we have uh, mostly steam coming out of that attic all the way to where we have basically zero smoke um, coming out and now we're down to doing our volume velocity density color just to improve our opportunity to get our um, overhaul done uh, quickly and efficiently with crews that we have there as we start to think about putting people in service um, so again when we're doing this reading smoke there's always some vagaries of video some things you're not going to see not going to happen um, some things you're not going to know we're only in one position here we're not getting a chance to do a 360 we can't see all the signs but with each of these we're looking at some of the cues of the patterns and the expectations and trying to build our repertoire right build your knowledge base so that next time you're at a fire uh, you see something maybe you saw in the video or you've uh, seen in the training sessions and you go hey now i know what's going on in the building or here's what i expect to happen and then maybe adjust that to what actually does happen hey as always uh thank you for spending time with me today um if you if uh, you can spread the word on getting people to subscribe i appreciate that uh, all this is uh, being done it's all there for you to use uh, we're up to 14 sessions now of uh, this weekly uh, reading smoke live with phil Josa here on youtube and i want to thank you uh, for that opportunity with that as um, again send me any messages you want to hit me up 
uh, on Facebook or send me a message here on YouTube and I will get right back to you. All right, thanks again for joining me. This is Phil Joe.